Hi, I'm Tom and welcome to UBTV. As you can see, Mike isn't here today. Uh, I think he's gone to see Twilight, so it should be me today. I'm he doing. actually has though, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Today we're here with a band called The Closed Circuit Culture. How are you today, guys? All right? Yeah, yeah. I'm good with you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. So where are you from, guys? Where was the band formed and everything? Um, it's a bit of a bit of a strange question to ask, that isn't it? I mean, me and Mark met at school. Yeah. Well, obviously, Mark doesn't go to school anymore. I do. <laughs> um, yeah, me and Mark met at college for music class. So. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and me and Chris started doing some stuff, just us two, and it was just going to be like instrumental electronic weirdness <laughs> and then one day Chris started writing songs yeah. <laughs> and Mark was like mm, I was like record this is a full yeah. band so. so we recorded it and then neither of us could sing good enough for it so, so we, we got found this guy after this guy. <laughs> I'm brilliant singer you know <laughs> alright we all know what season it is festival season um, bit of a big one who would what would your dream lineup be for a festival uh, Presley, Hendrix, <laughs> Lennon, Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, um, McCartney, come on. Yeah, McCartney would be the headline act. Oh, that's <laughs> you like McCartney, don't pretend you don't. Yeah, I mean, speaking of McCartney, I watched some of the Isle of Wight festival stuff. It's like, you've got McCartney and you've got everybody else. <laughs> you know, and that sounds that's really what stupid. That's what our festival <laughs> McCartney Fest, basically. <laughs> it's like big up and really everywhere. They bring their star and get like a little solo slot. If you could play any festival that you wanted, what festival would it be? Leeds, Download, Glastonbury, Tea in the Park. Paul McCartney Festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. I think it'd be. In Paul McCartney's backyard or something. That'd be good. No, shut up! That Paul McCartney. On the roof of the Apple. <laughs> <laughs> It'd have to be Glastonbury, wouldn't it? It would have to be Glastonbury, it'd have to be, wouldn't it? Give you the most Once you play at Glastonbury, that's like, yeah. You know. <laughs> then you sell it out playing it, it's something smaller, though. It doesn't matter if you play some crappy tent on Field X, does it? If you play at Glastonbury, then. Yeah. You know. So, what would you describe your genre as then that you're sort of in? The genre that we're in? Yeah, the yeah. genre, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of alternative rock, but I mean. If we're changing, aren't we, all yeah. the time? Yeah. Like, I mean, we, we recorded like a first album that was like a bit of punk influence in there, but then the yeah. stuff we've been recording now is like no punk at all. No, it's just, <laughs> we've gone, you know, soft um, rock. Yeah, yeah, not soft rock. <laughs> no, we, 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 soft rock makes us sound like pansies. We're more soft. <laughs> we, are, we are more pansies though on this second album. Yeah, yeah. The second lot of There's songs. more love songs and. and yeah, whereas the first album we were all like ranting against the government and doing all the proper rock band stuff. <laughs> And now we're just like... Now it's like, you oh, know. you mean a lot to me. I like, <laughs> you know, like that, you know. So have you got any new material coming out at all? New material? Tons of it. Tons of it, yeah. yeah. What are you um, doing recording today, actually? We were recording today. We record generally at my house, um, because we can't afford anywhere more expensive. <laughs> um, we recorded the basic tracks in a port cabin at college, because we can't afford anywhere more expensive. <laughs> um, Free. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, at the moment we've got a load of new songs. We got a single. I mean, we got a single, single in August. August a single in September. Well, we release everything for free, by the way, on our website. Yeah. Um, so you'll be able to download. Everything's it's a free download because we figured that you wouldn't want to pay for it. Now this is a new segment of the show. It, we've only done it once, but we've actually come up for a name for it now. So here it goes. This is the segment in which we like to call. The Ball of Inspiration! Hold it and spin it round a bit. <laughs> In this section of the show, what we do is, we pick four words out of the Ball of Inspiration! Yeah. And then what we do is, is we get these clots to write a song of it. Alright guys, are you ready to start? Oh yeah. yeah. The first word is, well words even, because there's two words, cheese grater. <laughs> Alright, the next word from the bowl is plug socket. <laughs> now the next word from the bowl <laughs> I can't can read that. What's Kesha? And the final word 
from the word bowl. Wheelie bin. second allotment of words for the next song is going to be the first one that one dartboard <laughs> pancake mix the third word is flamingo you're <laughs> loving this and the fourth and final word Picket fence. <laughs> My neighbor <laughs> is a flamingo. <laughs> and he really did my head in one day. So I threw some pancake mix over his picket fence. <laughs> Got a dog board with a flamingo face on it. I'm gonna dodge him, dodge him, dodge him all day. Cause it's in my head in. <laughs> now, this is everyone's favorite part of the show. You ready? It's today's unrelated <laughs> question! Get back to the camera, get off your pop. Uh, if you were in a superhero film, who would you have your sidekick? Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> Paul McCartney though, right? In all seriousness, oh would be a bit rubbish as a yeah. superhero sidekick. He's 68. Well, thank you very much for coming on to the show today, guys. That's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. Now it's time for an acoustic set from Closed Circuit Culture. Take it away, guys. Thank you. 